Hey guys, welcome back. So in this series of videos, we're talking about candlestick patterns. And in this particular video, we're talking about the shooting star. That's a name for a candlestick pattern that occurs at the end, potentially, of an uptrend. Let's dig down into it and also going to look at the uh, textbook definition of it and see if we can kind of work out in our heads exactly what it means for us as traders and exactly who is on the other side of the trade and why it occurs. So the point of the shooting star is that you have an uptrend coming up here and then at the top of the uptrend you have um, a kind of reversal pattern in the candle. So this is your body here and you'll have a big wick to the upside. Now, uh, I don't know what the official line is. Someone can hopefully correct me in the comments below here whether you need to see that as officially as a um, you know, green candle or whether that can be a red candle. Obviously, I would say, and we probably should not, we would know this, is that if we have a red candle, then our close is lower uh, than our open. And if we have a green candle, then our open is lower than our close, just for the body perspective. Now, what was I saying? So we could say that if we get a red candle there, that's obviously a little bit more bearish because the close is lower. So this is the pattern in an uptrend. Again, the important thing is with all these concepts is most important is what's happened prior to it. If we're in a choppy little range, nothing's happening, it's almost irrelevant. Now, what does it mean? The point is with this is that if we drill into exactly what's happened with this candle, that is intraday telling us that, hey, this market has pushed to highs. It's tried and attempted to make a, a, another push higher. It's gone to new highs in the uptrend, it's pushed. But this is the important part. Intraday, the sentiment has changed from bullish to neutral, in fact, even bearish. And if you look at the candle from this perspective, this shooting star is in the red candle or red or black, whatever you've got it color coded on your chart, i.e. the close is lower than the open, then that is even more bearish because you can see uh, from an intraday perspective, this is what's happened. You've opened here, you've gone la 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 la, balls are happy, this is the continuation of the uptrend. They've gone, oh dear, we've rolled over, and now we've closed maybe down here, that's that one, or we've closed up here with that one. This is the intraday change in sentiment, which is so powerful and so valuable for us as traders, because we're looking at that and saying, hey, if, at the end of the day, a trend can change at any point, right? The fact that sometimes we have a marker that says that's the close, we have a marker that says that's the open, we have some sort of point and we might get another candle, it could happen any time. So the fact that it happens intraday, this is what the beauty of the candlestick is showing us and why candlesticks are so valuable is because we can see, hey, it's gone to new highs, it's been rejected. Sellers have perceived that as value. Buyers don't want to step up anymore. We've now come lower. We've closed at lows. What you ultimately want to do, and actually, interestingly, guys, this is I found this in a, in a uh, on the iPad here. I've got so many pens and stuff in my hand. Let me get rid of some of these. Um, they are saying again. They I put in inverted commas as in Investopedia. Uh, stockcharts.com, all those official kind of technical analysis stuff. I don't think that you necessarily have to be strict with it, but it's interesting nevertheless. They're saying that to, to confirm the shooting star pattern, the next day, in fact, let me just scrub out that circle if I can just do it so we can see it a bit clearer. Bear with me a second. By the way, if you agree with this, uh, leave a comment below. If you disagree, leave a comment below too. Love to hear how you use this, whether you think this is right or wrong, and any little twist or any little strategy that you use in your trading that works very well. So they are basically saying that, uh, in fact, I'm gonna need even more screen. Let me just get rid of this. We'll do it properly. Uh, they are saying that you need to have the up the candle here, and then you need to have your shooting star pattern here. Okay, shaded in whatever color that may be. And to be a genuine confirmation, then the next candle has to close in this zone here. That's interesting. I don't think I've heard that before. If you've heard that before, let me know if you know other flavors. Again, let me know. They are basically saying that actually now uh, the candle has to close down here. So if you're opening similarly, you'd have obviously uh, this sort of shaped candle, or if you're gapping lower, you'd have a candle there. So that's the same, the confirmation. For me, hmm, is that a bit late to the party? Are you giving away kind of a bit more juice? 
I tend to err on the side of being more aggressive. That's kind of the more I'm more of an aggressive trader and I get stopped out more accordingly, but I, over time it works out better for me because I've got a little bit more edge in. So I would probably prefer to take this um, you know, kind of here, and then you know, while everyone else is taking it, I'll probably be scaling some out that day. But I mean, I'm quite an aggressive day trader. Um, uh, but from a day trading couple of day perspective, the other thing is even better is to find you know, if you get that double top and that reversal is well underway intraday, to be shorting intraday, to be short from kind of an average of here, if you like, an ideal world, having that close print, knowing that you've actually done that shooting star pattern on the daily and then looking for a continuation day two then all of a sudden you've got a lot more risk reward because your risk is obviously going to be about that high here uh, and it can kind of work out for you if you're looking to hold it for a longer period so again this is a kind of a little bit more how it works for you your approach and your methods and or you're a day trader swing trader whatever but that's interesting that they say that to confirm it you kind of need to break below the low but for me i always thought that this was really the pattern that was the most important and it made sense logically in that you had the push you had the rejection and actually just very quickly guys uh, for, while we're on the day trading subject that kind of thing on an hourly is also very good because if you consider you have something like data coming out or if it's over a window of something that's important like a specific time frame you get that kind of rejection then you can use that and say well that may well be the end of the trend intraday you know that's an hourly hourly candle we tried to push up we had data over it or even if we didn't and now we've reversed maybe we're going to now pull back to you know a volume weight and average price or a gap level or something like that that might be the extension of a mean reversion trade so working off that and again uh, you know quantifying your risk based on that extreme on the theory that that is uh, a purely an exhaustion type move and if 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 you're proved to be incorrect then it would make sense to have your stop up there. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the whole shooting star pattern, how you think, whether you think you need this in it or not, whether you think it's okay on its own. Any of your ideas for getting involved in trade, any clever little tricks that work for you in your own trading, would love to hear them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget, if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel for more candlestick patterns, technical patterns, strategy, setups, discipline, psychology, anything and everything to do with trading to make us better traders. Take care.